Welcome to Schoolcast today, it's Tim and Jacka and we have Sam with us. He's not come to us, we've come out of the school to learn from British Olympic gymnast Sam Oldham, his five best handstands. So we can't wait to learn something ourselves and most importantly, help you guys with that handstand. So this is all in preparation for the Handstand World Record attempt on the 23rd of June in Nottingham. Now we've got a lot of people, we've put out some information, but we reckon we've got some knowledge bombs, some gems to get people handstanding nice and stable for 15 seconds. Yeah, no, definitely. Like, I've got some my five best tips today. Uh, some of them are not even in a handstand position, they're on the floor, they're hanging on the edge of a box, and the others are gonna help you improve your handstand so you can hold it for longer. So you might be kicking off holding for one or two seconds, but this is really gonna improve your shape in that handstand and make sure that you're gonna be able to hold it for essentially those 15 seconds when that day comes around for the world record. And become Guinness world record holders. I'm having a pint of Guinness. Apart from the valuable tips that Sam's about to share, you may well just see me and Jack get humbled entirely by this. <laughs> all right, tip number one then, Sam, what is it? Tip number one, it's all about body shape. So this is trying to get you in the correct body shape, so you're gonna have that perfect straight line. It's gonna make you more efficient, and you're gonna be able to balance and hold the position for longer. Did you say perfectly straight? Yeah. <laughs> well, we're gonna try, we're gonna try. But this is gymnastics. So uh, sorry. Banana back in here. <laughs> Go on then. All right, first exercise. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna get out in this stretch position here, you're gonna flex your toes, and you're gonna suck in your lower back into here, almost like a plank position. You're going to squeeze your bum down and you're literally going to hold this exercise, hold this position for as long as possible. So that's so that's like it. a hollow rock position. Yeah, yeah. Like upside, upside yeah. down. Yeah, yeah. Pressure through your shoulders. Yeah, like exactly, that. yeah. There's a little bit of like thoracic spine lat length over the side. But I was looking at that going, well, when we first started doing calisthenics, when I first started training with Jacko, like you couldn't do a hollow body, so I think you should go first. Okay, see okay if Jacko, got let's do it. This would be a good improvement for you. Back in the. Back years in the yeah, so you just want to get your arms out as if you'd almost be in a handstand position where you put your hands, you're going to flex your feet and then you're going to squeeze, that's oh, it, so you squeeze that back, so what, you're going to put that, you're going to squeeze your glutes in, lift your, lift your chest as if you're going to be in that, that's it, that's a good position. I so all you get, I mean a little bit, you want to try and lift your back a little bit more, so try and dish your back in a little bit, there you go, that's better. So you're going to try and hold this for as long as possible, it's hard, right? I got that all day, that was easy. It's not easy, right? Woo! So, Essentially, all you're going to do with this exercise is just try and hold it for longer and longer. Pressure yeah, so you want to put pressure on your hands, yeah. So then if we're going to try and lift you up, which, like, I might need Jacko's help here, yeah. um, your body should stay in that position. As long as you're in that tight position, it should stay there. You just had a I've seen, yeah, I've seen this before. Nice. That's really impressive, man. So, yeah, that's kind of like the ultimate Let test go. of whether you're in... That's the ultimate test that of whether you're in that right position, so... <laughs> So tip number two, Sam, what do we got? So this exercise is all about that shoulder strength and that end range. So when I was a kid myself, I was very weak in this uh, position. So I started doing this exercise. It made a huge difference in my handstand. Um, so yeah, we're going to crack on with it. Yeah. Um, Jacko, if you can hold my legs. If yeah. you're at home, uh, you can use like the bottom of the sofa. You just basically need some weight on the back of your legs. Yeah. Um, so you're going to get, right. yeah, you want to get uh, up to kind of where your hips are in line there. Uh, and then you're going to try and get into that nice position we've been practicing on the floor and you're just going to lift that end range there, them shoulders. So Sam, this is a big one about um, keeping that straight line because you can get your shoulders or your hands higher so more vertical positions so you don't end up in that banana back position, right? Exactly, so all you're going to do here is transfer that position we were working towards on the floor to here. It's not as hard as being in a handstand because you've got that kind of balance of someone supporting your legs. Yeah. So it is harder and you're concentrating on that, but you're still working on yeah. that and being in a lot right of people position. Miss that end of range. I think yeah. that's the so hardest part, yeah. And, yeah. Then the, what they, and then to make up for that, to get the hand above the head, yeah. they're going to arch. Whereas yeah, you're not going exactly. to be able to do that here, and I imagine yeah. this is going to hurt me absolutely. Yeah. That's a little bit. Yeah. Am I going to go first? I'll, I'll That'll be the guinea pig. You hold me leg. These are nice socks, Jack. Where Thanks. <laughs> You gonna push down now. Uh, so you're gonna go right to the end where your hips are, mate. Right. So a little to the bit end. further. There you go. Thank you. Straight. And obviously, like, if it's too hard going right to the end, just go a little bit further back. It's like this. Yeah. <laughs> right. So yeah, that's it. You wanna squeeze your glutes, squeeze your back, uh, and then lift just your shoulders and try and isolate your shoulders. And you keep here. There you go. Yeah. So that's the exercise. Cracking um, a walnut, Tim. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So it's uh, setting your shoulders back, Is pulling right to that position. You one? Uh, yeah. That's really good, man. And then you can add, once you get better at this exercise, you can add weight to it, do it with a heavier bar. Um, oh, that's nice. So, tip number three, Sam, 
What have you got? Tip number three is doing handstand against a bar. So what you're going to be looking for here is essentially this lower part of the back, which everyone struggles with. Um, now you've got that position like of the shape you need to be in from the floor exercise, the lifting your shoulders, you're strong enough there. You're going to move on to this exercise, providing you can already obviously do a handstand. Um, so it's like doing a handstand against a wall, but the main important part of this is that your lower back is touching the bar. So if one of you guys, we want to be, can, they want to be, if they're going to try it, they want to be confident. Yeah, confident. Up they can the kick wall. up against the wall. So you know they should hopefully be able to do that. Yeah. Um, so Jacko, if you can, I'm going to get up there. Then I will leave the hole in my back. Yeah. And I'll, I'll ask you to kind of put your hand in yeah, there, yeah. and I'll try and squeeze okay. your hand almost. Like a dead bug against the. Yeah. Oh, on the mic's gone. That's right, Mike. It's all right. That's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so you want to get your hands as close in as possible. And you see right now, my yeah. bum's touching, my shoulders touching. There's a gap. Yeah, no. Oh, it is. And you want to squeeze that. <laughs> and yeah, he's, look at his it. foot position as well. That's useful. Oh uh, yeah, kind of. Pinch yeah. The bar. So you want to keep your head in as well. Yeah, really, right. you don't want your head to be out. You can have your head against the bar. Um, it's just just squeezing that position. So all I'm doing is applying that same position we were doing on the floor, but to this exercise and pushing through my shoulders. Um, so yeah, that's exercise number all day, three. All day. Looking Give forward to up. seeing Tim try this one rather than me. So yeah, get your hands in, you tuck your head in, uh, and then go up. There you go, man. Nice. Ah. So there you go, so you're in the right position, and you've just got to try oh, and squeeze on, Jacko's come hand. Away, let me get it. Yeah, there we go. There now, you go. Now yeah, now push and squeeze. <laughs> there you go, that's perfect. So you see how hard that is, so you want to just increase the time you're holding that for. So you can go up from 10 seconds, 20, 30 seconds. Um, and yeah, that's just gonna, that's incorporating all three of the exercises we've done so far. So I get the feeling that we're building the complexity. Number four, what have we got? So number four is handstand against the wall, facing the wall. And we're gonna use everything we've learned so far. So that position on the floor where you, we've got your, flexed, your toes flexed, you're in that squeeze position. We're gonna take, again, the shoulder range of movement with the stick. Then the squeezing your back in against the bar, and we're going to do that all of those, and put it against the wall this time. Cool, Jack. Let's have a look. How are you doing? Oh, right. yeah, you you doing? yeah. Well, you can go for it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it, man. Yeah. That's it, mate. So it's this sort of stuff for the handstand Sam, right? Where getting it, all of these things in together, which is going to keep the alignment. Yeah. One exactly. of them is not good enough. You've got to start to be able to actually yeah. get all of them at exactly. the same time. So, yeah, you're going to squeeze that. That's perfect position there. Nice. I'd try and put your. Try and uh, focus your eyes on your hands, Jacko, but without putting your head out too much. So, put, tuck your head in a little bit and just, that's it, perfect. And so, you, again, we're in that position, he's got that squeezed, his glutes are squeezed, his shoulders are in a strong position, and what you're going to do here is, you've got the advantage of being able to build up the capacity in your body and holding it for a long period of time, before then you go and move on to just doing it on the floor. So if someone's going to do a 15 second handstand, how long do you reckon you need to You want to be for? trying to go for as close to a minute as possible. Oh, a minute? Seems yeah. like a small dog down here. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the last tip. Cinco. Tip number five, the most important one for me to find that right position for your handstand is flexing your feet. So that's going to sound strange, but I still use that today. I've been doing handstands since I was seven years old. I'm now 25. Um, every day I'll do this and flexing your feet enables you to squeeze your glutes, squeeze your lower back and just find that position, so correct that position because if you spend two minutes against the wall doing a handstand and you just do that repetition after repetition, you'll begin to kind of lose the feeling of the right position you need to be in. So yeah, let's, get, let's crack on with it, I'm going to show you. So when I start off, I'm going to kick up and do a handstand with pointed toes. So I do this every day, so I can find that right position now because of my toes but it's much easier when I flex my feet to then get that perfect position. And then I point them again. So the stream. <laughs> nice. So yeah, just all right. That's the um, yeah. Tim had a few that's the, uh, <laughs> So Tim, we're gonna give it a go. Yeah, nice. That's good, man. So right, now, Tim, if you come to the side, Harvey. So that's pointed toes. So we're gonna try flex and squeeze your glutes as hard as you can and squeeze this. Check, there you go. So it's hard, right? It's yeah. just hard work. So another thing you can do to help your handstand, actually, Tim, is tuck your head in. So what a lot of people find really hard is, so you, ideally you want to look at your hands because you're balancing. So you, you're going to see your hands and feel your fingers on the floor. 
but you can actually keep your head in because you don't want your head out because that's just going to pull your shoulders out but you can keep your head in and still look at your hands okay. yeah, yeah. but it's something you need to practice it's not something you can just do straight away Maybe so you can't just if you keep your head in like this yeah perf that's the perfect position you want to yeah. be in but it's very difficult to balance yeah. and hold that you position like right yeah you, of course yeah, so that's yeah. really hard so you need to it's all about spatial awareness you need yeah, to be yeah. you need to know where your feet are in the air where you need to move how hard you need to pull your fingers um, so being able to keep your head in but still look at your hands is a really important trick. So that exercise, would you see that as a progression? If someone's got a reasonable like, freestanding handstand, yeah. level, that's something which is going to put a bit of polish on? And make yeah, it and it's just going to make that, essentially you want to get the most stable position possible because it's going to make it more efficient. You're going to be able to hold the handstand for longer yeah. because you're going to be wasting less energy. And like so, what you yeah. did, you can get someone to hold you in that position. Exactly, yeah. If you've got a partner, yeah. yeah. It actually but, throws me up my balance straight away. And yeah, yeah. so you've got to shape. almost find out where you are in here, like I said, the spatial awareness. But guess, you can practice that you, against the wall. Yeah, I was going to say, you could even combine that with some of the versions mm -hmm. against the wall where you're just yeah, getting yeah, used to changing Yeah, exactly. And what you can do against the wall is you can be in that flex position and then you can point your toes and take your feet off for a couple of seconds then go back onto the wall and do it like that. Yeah. I think challenge is that is bringing the toes in and then still being able to yeah, crank it on. So again, yeah. it builds each one of those yeah. those points of linking those things into one. Yeah. I remember us having a conversation ages ago when we were first learning, like when you've got some options of making mm. corrections at various different joints throughout the chain, it gives you better um, chance of maintaining there when yeah. you're like yeah, moving so. about. Like no so. one's there, just never moving. It's like oh, you're yeah, slightly move, losing control and getting it back, yeah. losing it and getting it back. Definitely. Yeah, and the right. thing is, like, I still fall over in handstand sometimes, like, when what? I'm kicking up. Yeah, I still fall over, so it's, it's practice. But I think the best tip out of all the tips you can do for any exercise in bodyweight training, gymnastics, and strength, when you want to hold a position, you've just got to spend as much time in that position as possible. It sounds really basic, but if you do, you can do all the preps in the world, but if you're not practicing the crucifix, you're never yeah, going to be able yeah, to hold it for a long yeah. period of time. So. Time under tension. Yeah, exactly. It's specific yeah. to the thing you want to do. Time. Awesome, there you have it. Thank you, Sam, for, for giving us those five tips and helping everyone, just us, helping everyone out there that's working towards that handstand for the handstand challenge, that, that world record attempt. Um, we hope you've uh, found that helpful. If you want to check out a little bit more from Sam, make sure you go and see him on Instagram and YouTube. His details for that are in the description below. Um, but there's nothing else to say until next week. Class dismissed.